Hey, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. It's the week before the Super Bowl, and I don't really give a crap because the Steelers aren't in it. But if I had to, I'd vote for the uh, or root for the Seahawks because uh, can't vote for, root for the Cheatriots no matter what. But enough talk about football. Let's talk about welding. That's why we're here. Today we're going to talk about doing some uh, pipe welding or tube welding, whatever you want to call it. Something you might be called upon to do or something you might want to do is to weld some pipe joints such as pipe saddles. And pipe saddles, just any way the two joints are coped together, whether it be a 90 degree angle, 30, 45, whatever. Now, the proper way to do this and the best way to do this is to have the best angle possible. So let me get up close and show you how I cope these. All right, here's our first piece, and this is going to be our base piece that the second piece of pipe is going to fit on. The second piece of pipe, we're going to do this one at a 90 degree angle, and it is going to fit on that piece of pipe just like that. And the key to that is the way I have this pipe cut. You can see there, this pipe is cut so that it fits perfectly with no gap. Well, maybe there's a couple hundred, th maybe a fifty thousandths gap or so in there, but that's about it. Not even that. And that's the key to getting a good joint like this. Now to do the cope, I just used my handy dandy drill press with this little jig that I made. Clamp your piece of pipe in there like that. This is an inch and a half pipe. That's an inch and a half hole saw. But a bing, but a bang. Bob's your uncle. And you've got a nicely coped piece of pipe. Now I hit that with a file to clean up any rough edges. Next thing we're going to do is tack it up. All right, what we're going to do to tack this up and weld it today, we're going to be using the the TIG method, the GTAW, and we'll be using the Eastwood TIG 200 brought to us by our friends from Eastwood. Check them out for all your welding needs. So we have our base pipe, and then we have the top piece which is coped to fit on it like this. Simple way to hold it while we're going to tack it is one of these nice <laughs> heavy duty welding magnets. Stick that on there like that. Now we know we've got it at a 90 degree angle. Everything is tight. Everything is flush. Let's get our tacks on there and get ready to weld. Fire up the Eastwood here. Well, the thickness of this particular tubing that we're playing with today is 40 thousandths. You could use the one amp per thousandths rule and kind of modulate yourself on the pedal. I did a couple of tests earlier and uh, I found that at about 30, 30 amps is going to put me right where I want to be. I've got a 332nd inch 2% lanthanated tungsten here in my number 17 torch. It's got a switch. I won't be using it. I'll be using the foot pedal. And we're going to use some 332nd ER70 S2 filler metal. We're going to get four tacks on there. Then we'll get in with the arc shots and get it welded up. If this is the first weld you've done for the day, make sure you always step on your pedal, purge your argon line, make sure it's flowing.
after you've tacked or welded, you want to make sure you hold your torch in place long enough. All right, I got two tacks on there now. I think it's probably safe to remove our magnet. And we'll get our last two tacks on. Use a magnet like this just to hold it in place. I always try and get the smallest tacks possible so that when we run over them, they're not going to leave a big mark. Alright, last tack. All right, we've got four tacks, each 90 degrees apart, and we're ready to weld. All right, folks, there it is. A nicely welded 90 degree saddle joint. Now, granted, you can get up close and look, there's some bumps, some lumps. It is not the smoothest, most perfect weld in the world. But then again, I'm not Mr. Tig. But that's a solid weld. It's not going anywhere. It's watertight. I, mean, I haven't tested it, but I could. The techniques are simple, but putting them into practice is where things get difficult. The main thing that makes pipe welding more difficult than any other type of welding is that you must keep the tungsten 
at a 90 degree angle. So you're obviously not going to be rotating this. So what you're going to be rotating is your torch and your hand. And those are the techniques that we have to practice. All right, guys, if I made it sound like this was easy, I didn't mean to. It's not easy. This is a more advanced technique in welding, but there's no secret. There's no trick. You simply apply the basic principles you've learned all along, and you get a great joint. Practice. Just like the Steelers should have done this year. Practice. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment.